So hi guys, so here today I'm going to be showing you the Elephant Museum in Otaba Camp, yay! So yeah, let's go inside. So as you can see, no smoking. Please note, no eating or drinking in the elephant hall. Uh, here is everything here. Comparing Asian elephants and African elephants. You guys can read that quickly. And here's a model of the Connery Atari. Here's the heart of an elephant. Here's the inside of the head of an elephant. And here, yeah, guys, so one year, they're this big. Three years, six years. And uh, this is an adult elephant. Okay, so this is my assistant over here. The, he's strong, so he only reaches up to the elephant's ear, or just about to the ear. So as you can see, one year, this is how short we are, three years, six years, and adult. So, hi guys, I'm currently here, wherever this is, okay? So yeah, I'm only up to about, sorry, about here of the elephant, about up to the tusk. So the elephants are quite huge. And here is the elephant's foot the pad of its foot here's the inside of its foot here is the tusk of the elephant tusks so basically guys the tusks are made out of ivory and people lots of people all over the world try and like take the elephant's tusks to make plates and stuff which is really bad so never do that so the earliest evidence of a tamed elephant in the Indus Valley, 2000 BC, in 1750 to 1123 BC, Chinese Yin Dynasty tames elephants, 1446 BC, Egyptian pharaoh Sir Thomas the Third slays 120 Asian elephants for ivory in Syria. So here's the ecology. So guys, this is all over the world. So here's uh, Argentina, America. Who oh guys, so this is how it looked a long time ago. So the origins of elephants. I'm just gonna go very slowly through this. You guys can pause the video. You guys wanna read this. And yeah. So guys, that's the end of the their teeth and all the bones and stuff so 2016 map source with permission from UCN red list threatened species trademark so all of this yellow is where the elephants are today I mean in 1979 and 2016 that's where the elephants are left here's the Kruger's elephants all around here so this is how they migrate guys and then all of this so there's a massive bone statue of an elephant. Now in the nine months, this is their teeth and everything. Then when they're one year. Three and a half years. As you can see guys, they just get larger and larger. Seven years. And 15 years. Okay. And then the current tusks. So Mala Mary, Mala Mary, all of these guys. And here is another elephant. Over here. Here's his snout. And here's the tusks again. Current tuskers. So guys, these are all over the Kruger Park. See, so we can find them everywhere. So the Tauga is where we are over here now. And as you can see, so to so see, we see him in the Tauga. And we see this guy in the Tauga. Now, so guys, tuskers means we have really big tusks. Okay. So as you can see now, we're going with elephants and man. 
So guys, this is what people do when they kill elephants. So they've got either shoes like this, or poachers of poor people basically that attack elephants and then they try and steal their tusks like this. So here guys, a rifle, broken shoes and everything. So this is all the evidence. These are the bullets that they use. And all of this bad stuff over here. And then they steal the tusks. Here are the tusks that they retrieved from poachers a long time ago. Hunting and trapping methods. So as you can see guys, they make them, the elephants stampede and fall into a hole. Then they use axes. Falling spears. So basically what they do is when they go past there, the, they like make like a trip wire and then the spear goes into their head and kills them. And then they shoot the elephant in a skull. It looks like that's where they can get them. The wheel trap is when the snare just catches them on their leg. That's the spear thing there. And all of that. It's okay, so let's get past the sad stuff and now let's get to the research part. So, here is Kambaku, as you guys can see. And here are his tusks. Look at that, guys. They're about. Look at that. Look. The tusks are huge comparing to me. Okay? And these guys are not edited, hey? So, it does, I don't make them look bigger. So let's read his story. So he's from 1930 to 1985. This bull is named Kabanobi, which is Tosca for the word old, elephant bull, implying residence for a great animal such as this. So this is where he went. So he was from Satara all the way down to Crocodile Bridge. So that's where my grandparents live. And Satara is just before Olifant where we were staying later. And here's the Taba up here. So yeah, here is a little bit more about the elephants. Then here is a new movie. See? So he's from 1927 to 1985. So his age. Being an aggressive elephant, he was seldom seen, but his age was estimated to be about 58 years. He died of natural causes. So that's good. Okay, here's his tusks. But look how big this tusk is, guys. Yo! Okay, okay. Here is okay. So now, Kuli Nun, I can't really pronounce that, guys. So here's his story from 1932 to 1987. Okay, I guys can't say. So he developed impressive tusks, which were discovered in 1987 by game guards while on patrol. Patrol. Shortly after he had died of natural causes his age was estimated at plus or minus 58 years so around there so he used to like that open skakuza area there so that's where he like 